Despair and beware, for Rojo-tober cometh once again. This year we're going way back to 1993, I'm talking MS-DOS, I'm talking floppy disks. I'm talking a 33 MHz 486 with a Sound Blaster Pro 2.0, you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and let the game introduce itself here, and I'll see you on the other side.
Alrighty, like I said, uh, I installed the game off of the floppy disks, which means we have to handle this copy protection situation real fast, like. Uh, what do we, what do we got here? Got the manual in hand. We're looking at... Ooh, we got a Dubla Gypsy, by the looks of it. Uh, looks like we have Bowtie Man over here. We've got this lady here. And then we've got Monocle Guy. Uh, before I click that, because it'll... Well, actually, I guess I can click it. I think, I think it's okay. Um, just interestingly, if you let the intro play out, you don't get this screen. Um, so I kind of cut the intro in artificially, uh, as you would have seen it. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, you could theoretically play the whole game without defeating the copy protection if you can do it without having to, like, uh, shut the computer off, maybe? Not sure. Plus, if you do that, you don't get this, uh, aside from this option, when you start a new game here, you don't get this option. Uh, so I'm not sure what it defaults to here. Um, we're gonna go with full combat, which I guess is basically hard mode as far as the game is concerned. It's a little bit of this is an iso isometric like uh, adventure game basically, but it's got some some kind of combat in it. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily call it an RPG, but it's got s a couple of those elements in there. Um, oh, I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> yeah, give me the give me the the full. Restore? I don't even know what that does. What does Restore do? I don't know. Well, we're alive. That's a good start. It'd be a short game otherwise. Ah, my head. Feels like I was slammed by a speeding truck. Ooh, I'm a little dizzy too. Perhaps you should lie back down. Father said it's a miracle that you're even alive. God, this font is going to be the, the death of me. It looks like a J. <laughs> nah, I'll be all right. So who are you, and where the hell am I? Last thing I remember... Father will explain everything. He asked to see you as soon as you regain consciousness. As for my name, it's Deirdre. And you are? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what shall we call ourselves? Uh, well, I hadn't really thought this far ahead. I'm gonna go with Larry? This guy looks like he could be a Larry. My name's Larry. I guess you should take me to your father. We don't want to keep him waiting, do we? Father wishes to speak to you alone, so you had better go by yourself. I'll stay here and tidy up a bit. You can find father in his study. Just go down the stairs in the hall, through the first door to your right, and enter the room straight across the first floor hall. I will immediately forget all of this, but we'll try to remember. So downstairs, first door on the right, straight across. Thanks, I'm sure I'll find my way. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Maybe after I get some answers, we'll have a chance to talk some more. I would like that, but knowing Father, he'll leave you little time to flirt with his only daughter. Uh, okay, she presumes a bit much, but uh, that's fine. And there you go, we have full control. The game uh, might appear choppy, but that's just how it is. This is 1993, although I guess Doom came out the same year, and that's that scrolled pretty good. But not everybody has, uh, you know, John John Carmack and company, I guess, on, on their game. I'm going to go ahead and make a save here. New save game, we'll just call this start, I guess. And I think we can just hit escape, there we go. Now I don't know, I don't have all the hotkeys memorized, there are some. Um, but yeah, look how smooth this is actually. This is how we do the inventory. So uh, if we want to, we can whoop, pull that up and then we can play in this window. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can do it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, if we want to equip ourselves, we've got this this knife here. There's five points of damage. And then we can equip it like that. This will let us throw it, and I guess that just lets us attack. Um, and then this is like our HP, I think. I think we like fills up with blood or turns into a skeleton or something like that as we take damage. If we click on this, yeah, we get our, our hit points. 
and uh, what we're carrying. So there's a bit of an encumbered system as well. All right, anything else from you? You better not keep bother waiting. He's most anxious to talk to you, okay? And um, I've played a, just a little bit to make sure things are running as expected. I think uh, things that we can pick up will be somewhat obvious. Then we just kind of smash our face into doors to get, get through them. Hello, game player! From time to time there will be doors behind which there is nothing important. In that case, I will print the message, there is nothing important behind this door, so that you know you do not need to figure out how to get past the door. <laughs> Enjoy Bale of Darkness! Okie dokie. There's nothing important. Nothing important. I don't know what that sound is. Nothing important. That door's locked, okay. Very well. Uh, I think she said the stairs. There's also that other door back there. We'll explore this a little bit later. Oh, we got a little cutscene there. And we got this guy. Hello. I see that you are alive. Mr. Oh boy. Uh, Christa... Christoveric. Mr. Christoveric, I guess? Or Christoveric, maybe? Um, this game is set in like, uh... Hungary, Romania, I think, so um, if you know how to pronounce that, <laughs> feel free to, to let me know, although I will just say Christopherich, I guess, or yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll look it up. Regardless, Mr. K will be most pleased. Uh, so I've heard. I believe he's waiting for me. Yes, he is. So please don't keep him waiting. Mr. K is a very busy man. My, actually, yeah, there's a little bit of a text entry option, so... Yeah, if we type in stuff that's like under, red underlined, I think maybe we can get a little bit more information from people. Uh, I don't know if we can do like full questions like wizardry or anything. I can't even type a question mark. Yeah. If, if they don't have anything to say, it just resets it. So we'll just say goodbye. He doesn't seem to mind that we're brandishing a knife around the house. So that's good, I guess. Um, I, I'm guessing that she and him are the people who brought brought us back here. Just based on the silhouettes from the, uh, the intro there. Can I get through here? There we go. And yeah, straight across, I think. Right? Yes, okay. Oh, we got, got this guy's study, I guess. It's like he's smoking a pipe or something. I see that you are alive and well. When that metal beast fell from the sky, Deirdre and my servant Ivan went to investigate. I must say, they were stunned when you stumbled from the wreckage. Ah, okay, so, yeah, so that confirms that. Also, a metal beast? You mean, you mean an airplane? Uh, yeah, and there we go. We can just click on that. Metal Beast? Haven't you ever heard of an airplane? Exactly. Airplane? No, I haven't, nor have I ever seen such a machine. You will find that this valley is somewhat behind the times, good sir. We have never seen this thing that you call an airplane. Okay, so you're ahead of the times enough to know that you're behind the times. Uh, yet yeah, you don't know what an airplane is. Something's immediately fishy with this whole situation. Uh, yeah, let's, let's ask about that. I would appreciate it if someone could show me where I crashed. I'd like to take a look at my plane. In time, Larry. You have my promise that I'll try to help you in any way possible. But for now, you could use some rest. And a few more days won't make a difference. I'll make sure you're suitably taken care of. Taken care of. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, I would be so bold as to ask a small favor of you. Uh, what about the sir? Uh, please don't call me that. I've never liked it uh, when people call me sir. My name's Larry. Okay. I guess we should have asked that first. Maybe there's an, just do them in order <laughs> would be better. Uh, forgive my lack of manners. My name uh, is Kirill. Unless that is a J, and then it's like 
Hers is usual. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what favor do you want? How could I say no? Your daughter quite possibly saved my life. What do you want me to do? Some time ago, I lent a fine carpenter's hammer to a fellow villager. Good tools are hard to come by in the valley, and Edward hasn't made an effort to return the hammer to me. Could you go to him and get the tool? I would ask Ivan to do this, but there are many more important duties to which he must attend. You want me to ask a man for a hammer? That's all you want me to do. Get back your hammer. Exactly. <laughs> uh, that's all. And don't let Edward give you a hard time. He can be feisty at times. Come back when you've got the hammer, and we'll talk some more. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, be sure to ask Ivan for some coins. And if it interests you, there's a tavern in the village. Feel free to use the coins as you wish. Uh, okay. I wonder if we can ask about... Nope, I guess he's got nothing. What is it? Hang on, that's an I. Ah, so that's what the J looks like. Okay. If you say so, game. Alright, well, uh, let's explore the house a little bit more here. What do we got? So... Some paintings and such. I think we came in this way? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna guess the exit's over yonder there. Uh, okay, nice piano. And then this will lead us back into the... Yeah, okay. I don't know if there's like a run button or anything. I think things on the ground will be fairly obvious, but I am not 100% sure. I guess we'll see. So there's nothing important there. Nothing important there. We have here, I'm going to guess this leads us back upstairs to... Yeah, back to here. We already know there's nothing important there. Does this lady have anything else to say? You better not keep father away. Yeah, okay, so... She's got nothing else for us. Let's... Pop down here. Can I, uh... No, I can't get that. Let's try down here instead. Um... Aha, here we go. This ought to be something. So we can just right click to uh, take stuff when we're near it, I think. We got a couple of silver coins. Oh yeah, we gotta ask Ivan for some money. That door's locked. Nothing we can take down here as far as I can tell, so... I guess uh, maybe we'll get a key for those doors eventually. In the meantime, why don't we... cruise down this way? And uh, see about those coins. Okay, uh, coins. Hey, Ivan, Kirill told me to ask you for some money. Yes, I know. Was he listening at the door? Here are some coins I was asked to give you, or here are the coins I was asked to give you. Make sure you spend them well, stranger. Like on what? Lighten up. Kirill told me I could spend the coins on whatever I want. That may be true. Nevertheless, spend the coins wisely. Okay. Then we have this. I think we gotta... We do something like this. Yeah, it's kind of like... Uh, what was it? Uh, the Ravenloft game we played a, a few years ago? Kind of like that. Put the bag in your hand, you can see in it. Uh, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six coins. With the change on the uh, basement floor, we've got eight coins. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. 
The sack gets more full. That's these are some big ass coins. I'll tell you what. Uh, and then we can put that back there. Maybe drop a save would be pretty good at this point. There we are. All right, let's see where this goes. Seems like outside, probably. Woof. Yes, outside. So I guess that's how we get back in. Uh, what do we got? We've got a charming... Uh, I don't know if there's like an inspect button. We've got some kind of a sign there. It's probably, it's probably something I should look into is uh, <laughs> whether or not there is an inspect button. That sounds important. Um, these appear to be skulls uh, on spikes outside the uh, tavern. That's nice. Uh, or is this one the tavern? No, I guess that, this is probably the tavern. This is just somebody's house. <laughs> let's, let's go in here. Yes, this is the tavern. Okay. Uh, I see some stuff over here. There's a dartboard there. Can we play darts? Uh, I think we... Oh, no. I messed, messed up my, uh, my alignment. There we go. Alright. Pull this up. Grab a dart. <laughs> That's not quite uh, not quite what I thought was going to happen there. Starts actually don't even seem to do any damage, so... Uh, unsure of what the point of them is, but we'll take them for sure. More skulls, and they, these appear, appear to be like human skulls. So where are all these skulls coming from? Aside from the obvious. Let's talk to maybe you. Did you hear? They still can't find Edward's body. Why, with all that blood in the library, I bet it was the werewolf that got him. Uh, okay, Edward is dead? <laughs> and this the guy didn't know about it? Something's extremely strange here. If it was the werewolf, I wonder how it got into his house. And, there, and werewolves as well, I mean... Just, yeah, nothing about this seems right. Who cares what got him? Edward was a mighty strange fellow, and he didn't care one bit about his fellow man. If it was the werewolf, do you th uh, don't you think that there would be something left behind? I mean, the werebeast doesn't eat cloth and bone. Who cares? The man is dead and gone. Let's hope that whatever got him doesn't get one of us. Uh, okay. I see, this is just... Yeah. Same conversation. Fair enough. Who are you? Hello there. Why don't you pull up a seat? We'll talk for a while. My name's Sophia. Do you want a drink? Uh... Not just yet. Let's do that. Spend the coins wisely. Was the advice given to us? I don't know if it's possible for us to like get into an unwinnable state or something like that. I hope not, but you never know with 1993 video games for PC in particular. So um, let's do that, and then we'll we'll do the drink. Uh, thanks, Sophia, but not now. I'd like to, but I got some things I got to take care of. If you change your mind, I know where you'll be. Okay, wait, if I, so what if I do drink now? No, yeah, okay, yeah. So, I guess drink is not on the table right now. What about this guy? Well, hello there. I'm Seth, darling. Could you please come here for a moment? I need a light. Sophia, can't you see that I'm talking to this man? I'll be over in a minute. You don't smoke, do you? If you need a light, just let me know. Personally, I don't like tobacco, but I do occasionally succumb to the pipe. Oh well. Patience, dear Sophia, patience. Anyway, I'm Seth, the barkeep. Can I get you anything? An ale, some food, or wine, perhaps? 
Uh, tell me about your yourself, Seth. It's good to meet you, Seth. My name's Larry. Wait a minute. I don't remember seeing you in here before. You're not the guy that... Ah. Came from that thing that fell out of the sky, are ya? What a sentence that is. Um... Okay. Are you just a barkeep, or do you own this place? This place is mine. It was passed on to me by my father. If I'm right, I think the tavern's been owned by my family for several generations. It's not a bad way to make a living, you know. Actually, about the only thing I like better is collecting things. Like my cups, for example. You won't find a finer set in all the known world. Look at them, especially the gold goblet. You'll never see another one like it. What about the goblet? Yes, that goblet of yours is a very nice cup, and I bet it's worth a good bit. Why, thank you. It's my finest, my pride and joy. I'm just aching to drink from such a fine cup. Of course, I'd never do such a thing unless I had the finest vintage. Only the best for such a fine goblet, eh? Uh, where would we get a vintage? Like a wine? Seth, do you have any wine? Yes, Larry, I have a little. I'm afraid it's not very good, though. If you are looking for a good vintage, you would better ask Kirill. His wine cellar has the finest wine in the valley. Ah, I wonder if that's behind the locked door. Uh, okay. What about, um, beer? No. Or ale, was it, maybe? No, okay. Wait, or maybe just drink? No. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure... Yeah, no, nothing's changed. All right. Well, uh, fair enough. I guess there's not much else to do. I guess that must be the cup. Uh, doesn't seem like we're going to be able to get back there to take it, but it sounds like it might be important. He made a big deal out of it. Now, let's see what's in here. It's like just a messy back room, I guess. Doesn't seem like I can grab any of this stuff. Got a broken stool. Some box I guess I'm not intended to get past. It's just, uh, you know, either of these giant pathways or walking over the box would just be too much to ask, I guess. Uh, so we'll go upstairs instead. All right, let's see. Whoop, that's not what I want. Let's see what we got up here. Um, I guess this is also like an inn as well, or a hotel or something. Can we search the trunk? No. What about the chair? Or the table? I guess not. This, oh, that's the edge of the rug. I thought there was something on the floor there, but yeah, it's just a, a rug there. So, nothing in there. And it doesn't look like much is going on in here, either. Actually, I wonder if, uh... <laughs> no. I wonder if we could interact with the calendar, maybe? See what, see what day these people think it is? I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. Like a bat, maybe? It doesn't look like there's much going on in any of these rooms so far. It's definitely some stuff, but nothing that we can actually do anything with. This room's got some striking sheets, I guess. And yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, hang on. There's like holes in the wall here. It's a bit weird. Oh yeah, I didn't notice them. I guess they're they've, they've been here the whole time, so nothing uh, nothing too strange about that. I guess there's nothing else that we can do here. All right. Well, I guess uh, when we come back, we'll try exploring a bit more of the town just to see what we can find out here, and um, I guess. 
figure out what's going on with Edward? I don't know. Maybe we should go back and talk to Kirill and just be like, yo, people are saying he's dead. Uh, why didn't you tell that? <laughs> why didn't you tell me that when you asked me to go get the hammer? <laughs> 